Tending the Wild, Native American Knowledge and the Management of California's Natural Resources by M. Cat Anderson is an in-depth exploration of the sophisticated ecological knowledge and land management practices of Native American peoples in California. Anderson's extensive research demonstrates how indigenous groups across the state have actively shaped and tended the landscape for millennia, fostering biodiversity and ensuring the productivity and health of their environments. The book opens with a critique of the commonly held belief that California was a wild landscape prior to European contact. Instead, Anderson argues that native Californians managed the land in ways that were both sustainable and intentional, working with the rhythms of nature to enhance their surroundings rather than to simply extract resources. The core of the Native American relationship with the land was rooted in a belief that humans were an integral part of the ecosystem and that their well-being was inextricably linked to the health of the land. One of the key themes Anderson discusses is the use of fire as a management tool. Indigenous communities used regular controlled burns to shape the landscape, reduce the risk of catastrophic fires, promote the growth of certain plant species, and improve wildlife habitats. These fires helped to maintain open grasslands and oak savannas, which were vital sources of food and materials. The practice of burning also stimulated the growth of plants used for baskets and other cultural artifacts, and cleared underbrush to facilitate hunting and travel. The consequence of fire suppression after European colonization, a policy which ignored indigenous knowledge, led to the overgrowth of forests, increased disease, and the increased severity of wildfires, issues with which California still contends today. The book delves into the diverse ways Native American groups manage specific plant and animal species. For instance, Anderson notes the management of oak trees, which were a staple food source due to their acorns. Native peoples engaged in practices such as pruning, mulching, and selective harvesting to ensure the health and productivity of oak groves. Similarly, indigenous groups manage salmon populations by creating weirs and other structures to regulate their numbers and ensure sustainable harvests. Anderson illustrates how the extensive indigenous knowledge of plants was applied to a variety of uses, such as medicine, food, and technology. Native Californians selectively harvested plants to encourage growth, spread seeds of favored species, and utilized complex cropping systems that mimic natural ecological processes. The relationship between people and plants was not purely extractive. It was reciprocal with humans acting as stewards to ensure the continued abundance and health of plant communities. The book also addresses the social structures and cultural traditions that supported sustainable practices. For example, indigenous communities had complex systems of land tenure and rights that regulated the use of resources. These systems were reinforced by spiritual beliefs and cultural norms that emphasized respect for the land and all living beings. The passing down of ecological knowledge was embedded in storytelling, rituals, and other cultural practices, which reinforced the environmental ethic and land stewardship integral to Native American lifeways. Tending the Wild details the disruption of these practices due to the arrival of Europeans. The Spanish mission system and later American settlement wrought havoc on indigenous societies and their land management practices. Policies of displacement, cultural assimilation, and land privatization led to the loss of traditional knowledge and practices. This disruption had severe environmental consequences, as European and American land management practices did not maintain the ecological balance that had been upheld by native stewardship. Despite the extensive damage and loss, Anderson documents efforts to redicitize indigenous knowledge and practice in contemporary land management. She highlights the work of Native American groups and individuals who are reviving traditional practices for sustainable land use, such as the return to controlled burning, the restoration of traditional food plants, and the reestablishment of indigenous land rights and stewardship roles. These efforts show promise for a more sustainable and equitable approach to land management that honors the deep connections between people and the natural world. Throughout the book, M. Cat Anderson stresses the importance of recognizing and integrating indigenous ecological knowledge and land management practices into contemporary environmental conservation strategies. 
She calls for a reevaluation of historical narratives that have marginalized Native American contributions to California's ecosystems and for an inclusive approach to environmental stewardship that respects and utilizes the wisdom of indigenous peoples. In conclusion, Tending the Wild is a compelling account of the complex relationship between Native Americans and the Californian ecosystem. It challenges dominant perceptions of pre-contact California as a wilderness untouched by human hands, providing evidence to the contrary that indigenous peoples were active land stewards. Through a detailed examination of traditional ecological knowledge and practices, Anderson argues for a reimagined approach to land management that includes the expertise of Native American communities. This approach aims not only to correct historical injustices, but also to offer solutions for current environmental challenges. Anderson's work stands as a testament to the resilience and importance of indigenous knowledge systems and calls for their rightful place in discussions on ecological conservation and sustainability. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.